There's a reason the Foo Fighters' third drummer turned out to be their last. Even for a musical perfectionist like Dave Grohl, Taylor Hawkins was the perfect fit. Taylor grew up in Orange County and got his big break drumming for Alanis Morissette on her massive two-year Jagged Little Pill tour. And it just went nuclear, man. It was like, it went nuclear. But it was immediately following the tour that he left to join, at the time, a much smaller band, but one that he instinctually knew would rock. <laughs> And he was right. For the next 25 years, he would be known as the long-haired, board short wearing drummer of one of the world's biggest rock and roll bands, the Foo Fighters, where he's even been known to steal the show from time to time. We caught up with Taylor back in 2014 when he formed a heavy metal side project called Birds of Satan. Being a musician and having the comfort of the Foo Fighters, is it easier to pursue these projects? Well, well, yeah, I mean, obviously, I don't, you know, it, it gives you that cushion because you have this other thing that you do that you make a living doing, you know, and, and pays the bills quite well. So I get to sort of indulge myself with all my little flights of sort of fancy and my self-indulgent little side projects. But it better be out of fun, you know. According to reports, Taylor's body was found Friday in his Columbia hotel room. The Foo Fighters were on a South American tour at the time of his passing. This was the last known time he took to the stage, March 20th in Argentina. Taylor Hawkins was 50 years old and the father of three kids. Doug Kolk, KTLA 5 Entertainment. And the band released this statement tonight. The Foo Fighters family is devastated by the tragic and untimely loss of our beloved Taylor Hawkins. His musical spirit and infectious laughter will live on with all of us forever.